Hi beautiful angels, this is Miss Dixie from Magic Vents Tarot and this is how your person is feeling for you friends. Um, so what is their message for you, how they feel about you currently. So many of you were requesting this reading friends, here it is now. Make sure to subscribe our channel, subscribe, like and share and join us on Instagram friends. To buy a personal reading friends, please visit our website. Also friends, this is a general reading, it may resonate, it may not. So take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind. Also, happy new moon, friends. Today is a new moon in Aries. So, happy new moon. If you want to know how this new moon is going to affect you, since it's very powerful, um, please make sure to check out the reading just before this reading. I did already how what blessings are coming for you, in which I have uh, described how this new moon is going to affect us, all of us and you. And the April horoscopes have been done, friends. All the signs have been done in English uh, all, all on this channel. All signs have been covered in Hindi Urdu also. All the April horoscopes have been done on uh, Magic Wens Tarot Hindi Urdu. So make sure to check them out, friends. Links are in the time stem. So let us see how your person is feeling. Let's see. So friends, let's uh, start with the theme. What's currently the theme happening in your person's life? Theme that's happening in your person's life. Oh, wow. Two of Pentacles. High Priestess. Wow, you're super. Your person is definitely very busy, friends. They are trying to balance themselves. They are also very busy with their work. Uh, if they are in relationship with you, they are very busy with you. The high priestess, wow. I feel uh, this person is uh, trying to connect uh, telepathically with you. They are also trying to send you telepathic messages through dreams, through divine signs. Uh, you know, they are trying to connect with you in some uh, energetic ways. I also feel like this person can feel you, like what you are thinking, our viewers are thinking, or uh, you know, whatever you think. They can feel you just as you can feel them. Very interesting. How is our person's, viewers' person's feeling, their theme? Wow, three of swords. This person is hurt, friends. This person is not over you. They are still crying for you. They have not forgotten you. And um, I feel some of you could be in no contact with this person. If you are, they are actually crying for you. They want to get back in touch with you. I feel like uh, if I also feel like somebody is doing some uh, rituals to get you back, manifest you back into their life. So spell work, witchcraft. <laughs> okay, I, I also feel this person is not very happy friends currently. They are not really happy because I think their intuition is telling them something which they are not listening to. Let's see what what is their intuition trying to tell them. How is our viewers person feeling? Nine of Cups. I think this person is taking things very lightly. Like they are too, too much partying, they are having too much work, too much fun, too much enjoyment. They took it. I feel like your partner took this relationship a little too casually. And that is something their intuition was telling them not to do. Not to be playful, not to be uh, casual. Be dependent. Um, you know, like be somebody responsible, be somebody, you know, show. I feel like this person just showed you one side of themselves. And that's the major problem here. I feel like they showed that they are uh, a playboy, a Casanova. They are just fun spirited person. But you somehow felt like they were not somebody very honest or dependable. Five of Swords. Yes, this person may have ghosted you, blocked you. They may have also left you for somebody else, friends. But I feel they are not yet over you. They still think about you. They are crying over you. They knew they messed it up. They knew that, uh, you know, they made a mistake. I feel this could be an old connection for some of you. Like this person has been, uh, they have left you since a very long time. But still they have not, they are not yet over you. I also feel like they still have a massive regret of what they did to you. 
I also feel friends this person if it is a new connection like if it could be a new connection for some of you like somebody you recently met a crush or something but you know I feel the problem with this person is they are being very casual even if it is a crush they just show their playful side while their intuition is telling them don't be so playful don't be so casual you are giving the wrong impression the magician yeah i feel like this person is trying very hard to manifest you back into their life like they want you again but they don't know how so they are trying to do everything approachable like witchcraft spell work uh, manifestation energy work Ace of Cups, they want you back. This person, I feel like for some of you, this person may have recently messaged you and they may have expressed their love for you, their affection for you. I also feel like this person is definitely, if they have not messaged you, this person is going to message you in the coming days. They are trying to, um, you know, reinvent a new start with you. They are also trying to, uh, you know, if this is a crush, they are definitely trying to get you out for a date. You know, like they are trying to ask you out, take you out and like, you know, if the first date went badly, they want to do things again in a better way. They want to win you actually and woo you also. Seven of Swords. I feel like this person has a lot of love for you, friends. They, they feel a lot of love and affection for you. But the problem is they can't communicate it well. Neither they can show it with their actions. So this person is like head over heels in love with you but they are so stuck and so poor in expressions that that love does not get expressed to you even i have trouble right now in speaking i also feel like this person uh, constantly keeps changing their mind like you know sometimes um, you know like when they have you they run to somebody else when they when they are with somebody else they want you also so I feel like this person is somebody who likes to have, you know, they are like a little scattered, very scattered person in their mind. They listen to all their mind. You know, mind is something you should not listen to too much. Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person has hurt you, but they want you to forgive them. And like they want you to, you know, show their dependable side. They want you to know that they have changed and like they are not that playboy that play girl that casanova they they are different they also want you to be exclusively available to them only like if you are with somebody else they don't want that you know like if they are with you they just want i mean i, I don't know how to say this Je like they are they may be a little jealous you know they may be a little jealous of you and little controlling also which you may not like the emperor yeah definitely they are uh, they are the one who wants to keep you in charge you know they want to be in charge of you which does not sound so well right so you know this person is like i want to be a leader in this relationship and i want to take charge of everything and i also feel like this person wants to show you that uh, they are now a different person they are not that casanova they are not that play girl play boy they are different, they can take responsibilities, they can be trusted. Ace of Wands, I feel this person feels very, very passionately about you. They still have very uh, a lot of passion for you, physical, sexual chemistry still sizzling between you and them. I also feel like this person has been, if, they, if she's a woman or even a man, they are working on their body, they are trying to make themselves very attractive so they can, uh, you know, like they can tempt you. <laughs> Oh, three of pentacles. I also feel like this person wants to help you if they are a crush or if they are somebody new or the, if they are your colleague. This person definitely wants to help you. They want to appear as somebody very helpful, kind and cooperative so they can um, get close to you. <laughs> the page of swords. This person could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They could also be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus person. Aries, Leo, Sag person. I feel our viewers could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces mostly. The world. I feel this could be a long distance connection. Or maybe some of you are definitely not in touch with this person. But I feel this person wants to message you friends in the coming days or very very soon this person is going to message you. And for 10% of you they have already messaged you recently.
fantasy wow this person keeps fantasizing about your friends uh, no no i keep seeing them like you know no one is like you there is nobody else like you so they keep thinking about you they keep fantasizing about you um i also feel like they feel like you look like an actor or an act actress like they uh, I, i keep hearing them like comparing you to somebody very popular like they feel like you look like an actor or an actress or you feel like your partner look like an actor or an actress justice i feel your partner knew know they did you wrong they know that they are aware what they did to you and they know like it's time for justice to be done it's time to set the wrongs right now i also feel this person could be in a karmic relationship with somebody else they could be married and that's uh, something that's affecting the relationship with you and them and i think this person feels like they got their karma back they left you and they put and now they can't come back to you so something like karma happened to them family yeah for some of you this person may be away from you because of family issues family duties different religion culture maybe their family does not approve but i feel this person still constantly thinks about you and they are head over heels in love with you identity wow i feel like some some for some of you this person is a bit lost i mean like they are not sure what they want right now and that's one thing that's causing the problems between you and them like they don't know what's their identity maybe this person was very uh, like they are younger than you so they they don't have that much of experience in life or maturity I also feel maybe this person is going through some gender uh, identity issues like you know maybe some of those things are happening to them I also feel like I feel like this person is looking for their you know like they want to be somebody first they want to be somebody before they can be with you that's what I feel like they are looking for their life purpose life mission in life what else I also feel like identity is like you see this person as a ca casual person somebody who likes to have a lot of flings flirty flirtatious kind of a person but I think they are not really that they also have a very deep and sensitive and mysterious side to them which they kind of you haven't seen that and they haven't expressed it also yet trust I feel like this person wants you to trust them once again fresh start nurture yeah i feel like this person wants to have kids with you children empress the they want to and you remember the emperor there is the emperor and here is the empress so they want you they see you as the perfect match for themselves and they want to have children with you they want to be with you i feel like they want to change your mind friends like they want to change your heart they want to open your heart and they want to be a permanent uh, visitor in your heart or giving and sharing wow they want to give you a lot of gifts and love i feel like they want to this time they want to do things differently that's what they want and let's see what will really happen in the future of this connection <clears throat> i also feel like you are very kind to this person friends and i think this person really appreciates that so what will really happen in this connection in the future Oh, message some they are going to message you friends. Yes, in the next 15 hours, in the next 15 days, uh, or I feel like yeah, 15 hours or the next 15 days, this person is going to message you or you you might hear a message from them, a call, they might meet you or they might post something on their social media. I also feel uh, you might have a dream or some signs which are given to you because through this person you know you might see some repeating messages on social media job the word i feel like this person wants to work hard now on this connection and they want to rectify their mistakes imagine i also feel uh, you have to also imagine a new start with them if you keep saying like it's impossible we can't be together this person is like oh, no they don't love us they are with somebody else if you feel that's their reality then that's what is going to happen <clears throat> but if you imagine anything is possible then anything will be possible the fate wow i feel the fate is uh, the you know destiny is going to connect you both again 
मे बी फॉर अ फोन कॉल मे बी फॉर एंटायर रिलेशनशिप समथिंग इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग यू टू अगेन इन टू अलाइनमेंट एंड येस दिस टाइम योर पर्सन विल हैव टू शेयर देयर हार्ट देयर फीलिंग्स देयर अफेक्शन बिकॉज आई फील इन द पास दे हैव नॉट शेयर हाउ मच दे लव यू एंड दे हैव अ लॉट टू से टू यू दे हैव अ लॉट टू एक्सप्रेस टू यू सो दैट इज समथिंग दे नीड टू टेल यू एंड एनीथिंग एल्स यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड Oh sunrise do it for you number 41 So friends i feel like you know uh you know enjoy your life be kind to yourself you know give to yourself don't just wait to wait to wait and be negative no enjoy your life and you know believe that you know you can have anything you want in life bitch fire stand up for yourself yes i feel like the more Uh, confident you are the more glowing and shiny you are the better things are going to be in your love life and lavender surround yourself with love i feel the more uh, loving things are you know like if you are if you are trying to manifest love into your life friends it's time that you say good things about yourself positive things about your love life even your past you say you see it through loving eyes you know that is really going to uh, invite this person and a new lover into your life escapist come home to yourself wow i feel like some of you may be trying to blame this person or you may be trying to romanticize love a little bit like no the relationship is perfect you know in three dimensions love is a little twisted it's perfect but it's twisted and so are the relationships so you know don't try to i don't know how to say this don't look for idealism don't look for perfection go for the everything is perfect even though it's imperfect you know i hope you know what i mean let's see what else uh, any advice for our viewers don't let pride get in your way so i feel like yeah this person is going to call you or message you or you might have a chance to um, you know match patch up things with them or have a fresh start or a reunion sort of a thing with this person but your ego might not let you have let that happen your or your ego might not even let you pick up that phone call so keep that in mind a time to give rather than take i also feel like you may feel like this person really takes a lot from you If that is the case, then maybe it's time to move on. Confidence is your key to success. Remember that the more confident you are, the better this connection will be. And I also feel it's time you receive from this person rather than give a lot to them. Okay? Nothing will come of this situation for some of you. I'm very sorry to say, for the ten percent of you, uh, maybe. Uh, you know this person will try to contact you and reach out to you but maybe you feel like this is not the right time maybe some other time your commitment is being tested yes these are tough times for relationships friends <laughs> these are not easy times i can tell you this as a psychic these are not easy time for the world there are so many shake ups happening there are so many weather changes are happening the world is like woo <laughs> so that is also happening in the relationships yeah so uh, let us see some love messages from your person all right look deep within your heart and you'll feel my love my love for you is deep as the ocean see this person really loves you friends i don't know why you feel i mean like this person doesn't express they are not good at expressing in fact i feel better now because um Uh, this person has definite challenges in speaking speaking their emotions the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is available to you follow it with faith so i feel you can have a new beginning in this uh, relationship if you really truly want it but for that you have to forgive the past wow a new adventure awaits you embrace it and live your dreams so definitely a new start is coming in this relationship for some of you and let's see who sexual union on the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss so oh my god this person definitely loves your body and i do feel you definitely connect in the dreams and they might take you out on a date or so something like sexual date or something 
only time will tell my god so, so uh, there's a lot of mysterious energy in this connection you know i feel like your person is still keeping things a very um, you know a little mysterious like they don't want to reveal everything when they are going to come or when they are going to call you i feel like a surprise is coming your way this definitely a surprise coming your way very very soon friends so that's it for now uh, make sure you subscribe magic wednesday or subscribe like and share join us on instagram to buy a personal reading visit our website this is mystic c saying bye bye